Urban Gardening Thailand. Join me in my tropical Asian garden. Thailand likes to pride itself on never being colonized, but plants do not recognize any politically designated borders and will spread themselves everywhere they can. These species may be considered invasive depending upon your geographic location and botanical situation. This video is not about the socioeconomic, sociopolitical, environmental, cultural, or other ramifications of invasive species. It is simply about three species of plants that are designated as invasive and that I found growing here in Thailand. I thought it would be fun to put them in one planter and let them fight it out as it were. The first ones are Mexican petunias, and they go by many other common names. You can see the scientific name below and in the description. As the name implies, they are native to Mexico, but have now spread themselves around the world. They produce beautiful purple flowers. If you have grown these plants, you know that the seeds disperse far and wide, and you will quickly find seedlings everywhere in your garden. They are drought tolerant and can grow in just about any type of soil. They are super easy and low maintenance. The next plant are the cypress vines. Though they feature these delicate feathery leaves, they are quite hardy and strong plants. Their bright red flowers are quite eye-catching. They love to latch on to all nearby plants and use them to grow profusely. They need full sun to partial shade. Moist, well-drained soil is best, but this vine will tolerate some dryness. Here they are entwining themselves all over my alamanda plant. Note, all parts of this plant, especially the seeds, are poisonous. And last but not least are the trailing daisies. This plant has the distinction of being included in the Invasive Species Specialist Group's list of 100 of the world's worst invasive alien species. Wow, quite a dubious honor. They can be used as ground cover in areas where other plants cannot survive or in areas where you wish to crowd out other plants, especially things such as crabgrass. They can tolerate drought and even water logging, and they do not need fertilizers. They produce beautiful little yellow flowers, hence their name. Of them in the field nearby where I live, and you can see how they have spread over a large area. I made a video of it so you can get an idea of how wide of an area they can cover. They need a lot more room than this small planter can provide, but I wanted to feature them anyway. I hope you have enjoyed this quick tour of my invasive invasion planter. Happy gardening! Be sure and check out all my gardening videos from my gardening playlist, as well as my computer tutorial videos and general interest videos. See you next time!